friends, I am Lithin Pranav. I am going to show you how to do a theft alarm system. Click on create new project. We need to create new circuit. Now rename it as theft alarm system. Now we can see what are the components are needed. We need a breadboard, Arduino, we need a lead. A buzzer, let this uh, if you want, you can use a lead, or else you don't want to use. And a PAR sensor, this PAR sensor is for uh, if a thing is there in a place, it will it will uh, sense it and it will give to the buzzer. And the buzzer will start to give sound that's what and the led starts to glow this is what we are going to do in today's video we can start with the connections positive to the positive negative to the negative Always remember, make positive to white, uh, positive to red, and negative to black. Now, for the for the positive, we are going to connect to the plus. That is the positive, and make it as red. Negative terminal to negative. We will connect this in the normal situations, but today in our video, positive terminal should always go. If you have an Arduino and you want to connect the, uh, any component to the Arduino, that has only two, uh, two like this for a buzzer example, you need to connect to the Arduino, the positive one. You can give it any color you like. You can uh, put it into any digital pen. I am giving it as a green. For these three pins, we are going to use the signal to the digital pins. These two will be the normal connections. This for this uh, signal, this is the we are going to make it and put it here in any of the digital pins. I am I am taking it to six pin and give I am giving blue color. You can give any color you like. You can be always confused with the anode and cathode. Anode is the positive and cathode is the negative. Sometimes everyone can be uh, confused with that. Now, I'm going to connect the anode with the digital pins. I'm connecting to the D3. And I'm connecting this. I'm making the color as orange. Now this positive should go to the positive. And negative. Positive red. 
and negative black. And this negative is also black. Negative. We have finished our connections. So we can go to the code. Create the default code. Create a variable. Variable called sensor value. Now take set sensor value to zero with that we are going to put read digital pin number zero we are going to read the digital pin of the PIR sensor so it's connected to digital pin number five so we are going to put this as five next take the print to serial monitor in this we should go to and take sensor value in the variables next take a if condition in the control if uh, if and else condition now go to math take this uh, this block and make it as equal now in this side we are going to put sensor value we will leave that one. We are, this is for where this uh, set sensor value is the detecting. It's uh, the Arduino is the detecting uh, the digital pin number five is connected to the PIR sensor. And we are set that uh, that variable is uh, digital pin number five. When uh, the sensor value that's the uh, uh, digital pin number 5 sensor value is equal to number 1. That means if a person is there, what will do? They are saying like that. For that, when a person is there, it should uh, make a sound. The buzzer should make a sound. So, we are going to output and set pin number 4 and 3 to high 4 and uh, 4 and uh, 3 to high 3 to high else if there is no person means yeah, we are going to put say uh, set set pin number four and three three to low so we are going to uh, add another component that is this light switch if you want you can add change the color as red and connect it in here now we can start the simulation See, person is there, it'll make a sound. It's all. Or else you can try without 
Um, uh, switch. You can try like that. If it's coming like you for you wrong. system I'll add this to the home system see if a person is coming the buzzer is uh, making sound the person is born the person is born it will not make the rest see if the person enters the here that's all guys this is the that's all guys like share subscribe